Hey guys, OBS007 here, back with another video. Uh, this is uh, episode 129 of my pickups. I only did one uh, pickups video that is like three or four days ago, I think. Uh, but if you watched that one, you would have heard me say that um, I was getting something cool, hopefully. And I did get something cool, hopefully. On the coffee today, cheers. Oh, so good. Not a massive coffee fan, but um, mocha. I like mocha. Basically, because it's like an adult's hot chocolate, and it you get chocolate and coffee. Anyway, yeah, uh, I think I did my pickups video on was it Monday? And Tuesday, everything went nuts. Like, I hadn't found much local stuff really for a while, and um, I just I, I got like four or five deals in one afternoon, and it was all good gear as well. Um, so yeah, I, we'll get on to that in a minute anyway. So um, let's talk about the Wii U. Uh, I've got um, what, one, two, two more games here, and I've got one in the post, which leaves me a grand total of one more game needed. Uh, obviously, when the when the game I've ordered arrives, yeah, I'll need one more. So. Um, yeah, I'm on the lookout for that one. It's reasonably difficult to find. Hunter's Trophy Big Box. It's got a big gun with it and stuff. Not a common game. I think it's. Um, I think it was a German exclusive. So I'm keeping my eyes out on Germany, eBay, and it just doesn't seem to come up very often. Anyway, I will snag that at some point to complete the set. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the Wii U games I have got in this video. There's not loads of stuff here, but um, anyway, we'll start with the Wii U stuff. Um, so first thing I've got. This is the last Skylanders set I needed, uh, and that's Skylanders Imaginators. It's brand new, although there are a few dings on the corners and stuff, just which ha happened in transit, I think, which is annoying. But i um, happy to get that one out of the way. I think I paid 20 quid, brand new sealed, which is all good. Uh, similar to this one, really, I'll, I'll probably never play this, even though I used to like these games. And that's Guitar Hero for the Wii U. I think this is 25, again, brand new and sealed. Um, yeah, I used to play the shit out of these games on the PS3. And I like, had the drums and everything. I used to absolutely love the rhythm games. So yeah, happy to have those. And as I say, yeah, one more one more measly fucking game. There's always hard to game uh, hard to find games on every system in there, so. I'll, I'll snag it in the next month or two, hopefully. So yeah, that's the Wii U. Um, yeah, we'll do this one next. So um, on that, like I say, the, the day after the last pickups video went mental, and a lot of it I just picked up and took to CEX to trade for the thing I'll show you in a minute. But this, um, um, yeah, this is well, this was a bit different because there was some stuff I wanted to keep in here. Um, and it came, <laughs> I went and picked it up, and it's not a pair of shoes, but it's this big shoebox full of stuff. Now, um, originally, I wasn't getting this. Somebody on my local items beat me to it. And um, as I've said a million times, I'm always polite, so I just messaged the, uh, the girl that was selling it and said, um, oh, if for whatever reason, if, you know, if they don't turn up, then uh, please let me know. Um, I'm around your area tomorrow, which I was. I'll come and pick it up then. Didn't think anything more of it. Uh, the next morning, she got back to me. Oh, I've been let down by so and so. Would you still be interested? And I was like, <coughs> Yes, I would. So um, yeah, went and picked it up, and well, um, and I'll show you. Um, I'll show you the sort of extra bits first. So. There's this Mario Bros. I'm not really sure what it is. I don't think it's big enough to be a case for anything. But um, I'm sure my kids will make use of it. And then we've got, obviously this will be big clues to when I show you what's inside of here. A little like Mario lunch tin, which is awesome. And inside we've got stylus galore. Obviously that's a big hint to what I've picked up. So we've got that and um, so the first system, I expect you can hear that, I've got new neighbours actually. <laughs> Look 
carry on. Yeah, the first system is a turquoise DS. Now note all the stickers. Um, because there's two systems in this bundle and the other one I've de-stickered. The screen's good, so I think that one will come up good. But it's, I don't know what happens to the inside there. Look, it's manky as fuck. So I'm going to have to scrub that. And that came with um, Super Mario DS 64, or Super Mario 64 DS, whichever way around you want to say it, or complete, which I've already sold because I've got. And uh, a cart only of Space Invaders Extreme 2, which is cool. And a charger for that one. And then the main reason I bought it was for this. Metallic red, look at that, 3DS original. Now this thing was absolutely covered in stickers, and I mean covered. It took me a good hour to get them all off, but look how clean it's come up. Oh, you can see I've had some, I've been playing some music this morning on the PS3, so you can just about see the reflection there. But I'm so happy. I was, originally I was, I was like, well, I'll, I'll probably sell it. But after seeing the condition of it, I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to hold on to it until I get a box and keep it because you don't find them, the metallic 3DS's like this condition too often. So um, and yeah, and the inside's all good as well. Honestly, Gugon is an absolute godsend. If there was a god, which there isn't. Um, yeah. So um, yeah, with a bit of Gugon and uh, a debit card, which I use to scrape off the stickers. Look at that, it's so pretty. So um, yeah. Got that, and that came with some games as well, oh, and a charger. And the games were, again, another big reason I bought it. Um, so it came with Super Mario 3D Land, and these are all complete and really good in it. Uh, Mario Kart 7, and Super Mario Bros. 2. Now I paid 50 quid for all of that. 50 quid. Uh, and I've sold... Uh, I think I've sold all the games except for 3D Land. So um, I've made my money back already. Um, you know, I'll make a little bit once 3D Land sells. And I've still got the two systems. Uh, so awesome, you know, anytime you can add to the collection for free is always a good day, isn't it? So that is that. Right, the last thing I've got to show you, I thought it would be a short video. Um, yeah, I traded in a lot of stuff for as I say, I went and picked up a load of stuff knowing that I was going to trade it in directly. Um, so I picked up... Yeah, I'll just go through a few of the things I picked up. Uh, I picked up four PS4 games, which were... Well, I've actually I've got my CX receipt here. This is the amount of stuff I traded in. Um, yeah, so there was four PS4 games. I'll never be able to find them, will I? I think there was... Um, just Cause 3, Dead Island, Watch Dogs 2, and I think it was Black Ops 3. Yeah, four PS4 games for 20 quid. So, traded them straight in. I got 19 Xbox 360 games for 20 quid, which traded straight in. Uh, I got another bundle of stuff off a different lady that I always get stuff from. There was Wii games, and... Um, Xbox 360 games, I traded them in, and that included like what we got here Smash Brothers, that was a Lego game. Uh, yeah, there, I mean, there were some good games. All in all, I actually, it cost me the system I'm about to show you, I worked that cost me 70 quid of my own money, um, which is it'd be even more of a steal than I explain. Uh, right, so the system I've got is. Xbox One X. Now, there are many reasons I wanted to upgrade to the S. Uh, I mean, A, I bought a 4K TV a little while ago. Not, not with the mind to get this straight away, but uh, I just thought if and when I do upgrade to the S or the PS4 Pro, the TV is ready to go. Um, so I was obviously curious to see what the graphics look like. Uh, so I've been playing Forza Horizon 3 and I'll 
it's so good in 4K. I, I know I'm probably you know a bit late to the party with 4K, but my God, it's unbelievable. Uh, and the second big reason was uh, I was looking into getting a um, UHD player, which if you look at the prices of them are fucking crazy. So it works out cheaper to get an Xbox One S than it does to get a UHD player. So I'm looking forward to watching movies in UHD. Anyway, I'll show you the actual console itself. Uh, here's a controller first. This, this colour is amazing. I, I didn't even know there was a blue one. This is true. I walked into the shop. I was trading all this shit in. And um, I didn't even look on the shelves to see if they had one in stock. Because my local CX isn't great. So I went and had a look, and I, had, I was sort of, in my, me in my mind, I thought I'll just get the white one. And then I saw this one, and I was like, yes, I'm, I'm having that for sure. It's such a cool colour. And here's the system itself. Isn't she pretty? Honest to God, it's, I'm so happy with this. Yeah, I mean, I got... What did I get in credit? I traded all that stuff in. As I say, it cost me 70 quid. Traded it all in and got 202 pounds and 50 pence. And this cost me 205 pounds. So, yeah. So it cost me 72 pounds 50. Right. Now, I had an Xbox One anyway, which is just over here out of shot, which you won't be able to see. But um, I'm guessing I'll get more than that for that. So basically, I've upgraded for free. Which is, I mean, with a bit of work, obviously, and a bit of running around, and you know, I'm so so happy um, that I've done it now. And that's it. Oh, you might be able to see up here. I've got some lights in this cabinet now, which um, I'll try and show you a bit better. Which I got my Tetris light on top as well. So there you go. There, that is it. Did say it'd be a quick one, didn't I? So yeah. Uh, as always, thanks very much for watching. Thanks to any new subscribers, and um, I'll speak to you all again very soon. Cheers.